So the idea that there are currently genetic applications today that we can use to save lives and re reduce the suffering from cancer is an idea whose time has come. The two conditions we're talking about, hereditary breast and ovarian cancer due to BRCA mutation and hereditary colorectal cancer or Lynch syndrome illustrate what we can do from a public health perspective. There are more than a million people affected in the United States with one of these two conditions. We know that there are many affected people that are not being diagnosed. Prevention in the past hasn't had the opportunity to take advantage of this very specific, individualized, uh, digital information. This is personalized medicine actually becoming real and becoming available uh, to many more people than could have been imagined a few years ago. Both of my sons were tested. One son did not have Lynch syndrome and one son did have Lynch syndrome. My girls were never able to meet their grandmother and my goal is to make it that no other, no other kid loses their grandmother too soon and that I get to see my grandchildren someday. What is really needed is to engage families where these cancers run and to help give them the opportunity to identify that they're at high risk, but that there are actions they can take to greatly reduce their risk. And this can often reduce the fear, it can reduce the uncertainty, and also uh, can have a remarkable impact on an entire family. Our job as health professionals and our job in public health is to help physicians identify these individuals and intervene early. And I think that working in partnership with state agencies, this is how we're actually going to be able to move the field forward. It's a scary prospect to think that you might carry a gene that increases your risk of cancer. But it's much better to find out ahead of time because there's so much that can be done now in terms of the early screening, detection, and management. My son is 35 years old, and he was treated and had uh, the surgery like I had, so he's got many, many more years that he can live now. And now we have groups, and we have committees, and we have counselors who help us know that it's not us, just us. We are a family doing this together. It's going to take the full engagement of policymakers, healthcare providers, uh, reimbursement agencies, insurance companies, and patients to take advantage of what should be a major step forward. We all have to work on this together.